Hello, my name is Toby Shanahan and I'm going to be going over the Firstly, before we start, I just want to go over a bit on uh, why I chose the movie and some key points about the movie and characters that you should know before watching it. Okay, so in its essence, uh, the film displays the story of Jack Torrance, who's a recovering alcoholic and writer played by Jack Nicholson. The movie tells us about how he has recently hit a persistent writer's block and is seeking to overcome this block with his wife, Wendy Torrance, and child, Danny Torrance. In the movie, his, uh, his son, Danny Torrance, is seen having quite disturbing psychic pre-commissions. These foreboding visions become more and more disturbing as Jack's writing goes nowhere. Danny's psychic abilities are identified by Dr. Halloran, the head chef at the hotel, as something of a gift called The Shining. As this movie progresses, Jack is able to find out more and more about the hotel's dark secrets and eventually ends up being possessed by the spirits of the hotel. This eventually results in him in a homicidal rage and becomes hellbent on terrorising. Okay, I'll, I'll now be going over the opening sequence of the movie and I think for you to grasp a full understanding of it, I'll uh, play it for you first so you can watch through that and then I'll be talking about it. As you'll have just seen, this opening sequence is quite different in comparison to other movies of the horror genre. It relies quite heavily on location and establishing shots. All of the shots in this opening sequence are very similar, as they all use a panning shot as well as a high angle shot to establish the scene in which this film is going to be set. It is quite hard for the audience to decipher the initial meaning of the film if they have had no prior knowledge of it, as in this sequence it gives almost nothing away about the film or its genre. Despite this, one of the things that this sequence does do to display a genre is through the use of non-diegetic sound. This creates a huge sense of mystery as the shots do not reflect the music playing along. The music playing along is in minor key and consists mainly of trumpets, however it does include other musical instruments. 
This use of a very low tone music gives it an almost melancholy tone and helps create a very eerie atmosphere in the beginning of this movie. Go to Marcus, go to Marcus. Go. This opening sequence clearly reflects and foreshadows the movie in its entirety. This is in the sense that the initial confusion created through the use of sound and camera angles is continued, as in The Shining, the villains and heroes are not clear at the start of the film. However, as the film progresses, they become more apparent. The scenery displayed in the opening sequence depicts quite an isolated and discreet setting. This gives the audience an inference that something isn't quite right. As the scene continues, quite harrowing and demonic sounds are implemented into the original soundtrack. The aim of this would be to creep out the audience before reverting back to the normal soundtrack. This definitely helps portray and implement the horror element of the film. Despite this film being of the horror genre, Stanley Kubrick, who is the director of The Shining, does not use any key conventions which are commonly used in horror movies. Examples of this include how he doesn't use any form of low-key lighting or presenting the location in a much more scary manner. Despite this, however, the continuous ominous music helps tell the audience that this is in fact a horror movie.